This project is sponsored by Altium Designer, which is one of the best PCB design software in the world. By using the software, you can make circuit diagrams very easily. Also, you can design your own professional PCBs. Altium is now included with Altium 365 in one license. With Altium 365, you can share your designs on the web and get feedback to your designs. Visit Octopart.com as the best electronic component site. Octopart gives you the most affordable data by specifications, data sheets, CAD models, etc. Hello, this time I will describe to you a way to make an interesting clock on, a, on an 8x8 LED matrix that, not, that does not contain any buttons and is adjusted by different movements. This is another of my collection of unusual clocks which you can view on my clocks playlist. By the way, I made this clock many years ago on a homemade matrix uh, of 64 yellow 5mm LEDs and you can watch it at the given link. Unlike then, this time the clock is made on a ready-made matrix and I will also describe to you in detail the way of making it together with the schematic diagram and the code. Also, this beautiful clock is uh, the work of Mark Wilson on, uh, on whose site uh, you can view the original project. The device is relatively simple to build and consists of several components. Arduino Nano microcontroller, 8x8 LED matrix with a common anode, uh, DS3231 uh, real-time clock module, ADXL335 accelerometer module, LDR resistor and 74HC595 shift register with 8 resistors. The project is very old and dates back to 1220, so the codes needs to be compiled with Arduino ID version 10, uh, 106 or older to compile without errors. Uh, the matrix clock folder contains all the required libraries, so no additional installations are required. Always in the pins tab, a connecting diagram is presented, which contains a small error in the markings of the cathodes and anodes of the diodes in the matrix. In any case, I recommend that you use the schematic diagrams that I have presented below, and one is if you use a ready-made 8x8 matrix with common anodes, like in my case, and other is with do-it-yourself matrix. Just to mention uh, that the common anode and common cathode single color matrices are actually hardware identical, just the rows and columns are swapped. Also in the original project was used an IMU sensor of the AM3X type, but since this module is no lo longer produced, I used the ADXL335 sensor module. Now, now, in order for the device uh, to function, function normally, it should be in the imu.cpp tab uh, to replace the value 100 with a 150. The imu sensor module should be placed exactly in position as you see. Now let's see how the device works in reality. This clock has several display modes that can be changed by rotating the case for 90 degrees. When switching on, the current time appears and the hour is represented in the middle with a 5 on 7 font. And the minutes are represented in the, on the edges uh, with a resolution of 5 minutes, more precisely the distance between two diodes uh, is five minutes. To give you a better idea of what I've talked about so far, I'm going to activate the demo mode as follows.
Now, uh, if, we if we rotate it to left by 90 degrees, it shows the current room temperature in degrees Celsius. One more time to left by 90 degrees and we enter a mode where the time is written in words. And with next, next rotation, we get so-called matrix screen saver effect. And finally, by rotating again to the original position, the current time is presented again. Next, I will describe the settings of this clock. To get the random pseudo words effect, we go uh, in the following order. Face up and upside down. And this is random pseudo words effect. Uh, for setting the hours, uh, the order is up and left. Now we can set the hours. And the right, now is set it. It is 11 o'clock. And for setting minutes, repeat again up left and down now we can set the minutes minutes are set it in the similar way we can change the sensitivity of the LDR resistor as well as the brightness of the display And now let's follow the way of making this clock. And finally a short conclusion, although the project is more than 10 years old, the idea of replacing mechanical buttons with an EMU sensor is excellent. Nowadays it is possible to make such a clock with an with WS2812 matrix, which would be extremely simple to make, cheap, but also the possibility of many color effects. 
I am suggesting this as an idea for do-it-yourselfer who is more adept at programming than I am.